Bad Wars has just released what in my opinion is the worst update of all time. Seriously, I would have preferred them to just rather not update the game as opposed to bringing us this. Let's get into it and see how bad it really is. There is definitely a nostalgic factor to the update that released today or once this video is out released about a week ago. Because this is not new, Hypixel is bringing back item rotations for Bad Wars. I will show you all the already announced items and share my thoughts on them as well as talking about the next Bad Wars update that is planned for early 2023. The update that we got so far is just about the item rotations. Every single week you can find a different item under the new rotational tab in the shop. Balancing is actively happening as we are experiencing this new change and the admins are considering maybe changing it to a monthly rotation instead of a weekly one. But what do we know about these items? Well so far we know of six rotational items starting with the sugar cookie. I recall this item from back in the day before they got rid of item rotations. It gives speed and jump but only for a pretty short amount of time. The ice bridge. This item will spawn an ice bridge in the direction you are looking at. So once you step on any of the containing blocks, the touched blocks melt. The snowman. Yeah, this is apparently just a snowman. <laughs> the bridge zapper. This will zap up to eight adjacent wool blocks and I guess that means it will just destroy them. Packed ice. Literally just blocks of packed ice. You can get pretty creative with this one. Miracle of the holidays. This literally teleports you and all your teammates back to your bed and heals 20% of your teammates by 20% of their health. Okay, let's talk about this. I was already able to test the first item, so here's my reaction to it. Alright, that is my very first impression. Oh, it's even the old symbol they used to have back then. Rotating items, sugar cans for 24 iron. Basically these sugar cans, you can throw them at an enemy and they deal a really small amount of damage and also a really small amount of knockback. So basically this adds projectile PvP to Bad Wars whenever this item is in rotation. And let me tell you this much, we don't want projectile PvP in Bad Wars. And everyone who has a different opinion here, your opinion doesn't count, okay? Nobody, nobody, and I have, I have to stress it one more time, nobody wants projectile PvP in Bad Wars. But to be fair, we haven't tested these yet. So I guess I will test them on this pink player. Can I? Yo, that worked. But as you can see, they uh, basically deal no knockback at all. They just slow down uh, the opponent. Like, they stop him from sprinting, which is obviously pretty good in PvP, as you can see there. That is basically projectile PvP. I don't, I don't want that to be a thing in Bellwars, please. They probably coded something to make the opponent take almost no KB. But I believe what they did here, they made it so the opponent doesn't take KB in general w once hit even after you hit them with the sugar can. If you hit them normally afterwards, they still don't take any KB if that's still part of the same, you know, combo. And they're using these, obviously they are. I hit him off the edge and they still- oh dude. Okay, no fireball to be seen. Nice of them. Goodbye now. Goodness. As we are speaking right now, the sugar can has already been changed. It now works as an actual projectile dealing actual knockback, making Bad Wars PvP projectile based if you end up using or encountering it. This is really, really bad. The sugar cookie should be fine, depending on the cost and duration. If it costs like 6 gold and gives you 10 seconds of jump and speed for example, I am fine with it. The ice bridge should only be a thing in dreams even if it's a little less overpowered. Unless it costs at least one emerald, then I am okay with it because it's basically just a bridge egg but it should go flat and it disappears after you actually walked over it. The snowman is going to be really really annoying depending on how long it lasts 
suggests how cheap it is and if it can see invis like golems for example. The zapper is good for fighting blatant cheaters but will most likely just be used by trappers and noobs that just want to ruin your game experience. The packed ice should be fine, no problem with that, I mean it's just a block of packed ice, what could go wrong there? The miracle of the holidays should be fine too. If it's really expensive, talk in at least two emeralds and if there's a huge cooldown as well as a long time until it starts from its activation. Now let's first talk about the annoyances coming with this update. Chill grinding is going to be way harder now because you always have to adapt your playstyle to the current rotation. Once used to the items you will know how to counter them in order to still be superior over your enemies. Items like the sugar can introduce projectile pvp into bad wars that in my opinion should not be part of this game. I always enjoyed Bellwars PvP so much because it was just raw, non-projectile and non-healing PvP. So this, it really ruins the game for me. But this update has also some decent chances. Chances in bringing back lesser dedicated players. Let me explain what I mean by that. Many people get bored of this game pretty quickly. I personally could literally play this game unaltered until in like 20 years I'm number one on every single leaderboard and no one plays it anymore. But most people just need something really refreshing every once in a while to keep the motivation to play for some reason. If the rotational items don't turn out to be too annoying, this could actually get more players, new ones as well as old ones, into the game. Once the items are all released and I had the chance to test them all, I will produce an update video showing all the strats to all the rotational items, so subscribe to not miss out on that. Now to talk about the update that is planned for early 2023, back when they first announced the new Prime Prestige and the 2000 plus star prestigious back about two years ago. I was so excited for that update that I went ahead and wrote down pages upon pages of ideas for future updates. I will definitely produce a video or even multiple videos in the near future where I present to you my personal ideas that would make the 2023 update actually good as opposed to this update. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you next week with another beautiful masterpiece. <laughs> Have a wonderful rest of the day or night, and goodbye.